Google is working on manufacturing its own smartphone. The question at hand, though, is when consumers can actually get their hands on one. So joining us now to give us some insight on the matter is Mark Spoonauer. He's the editor-in-chief over at Tom's Guide. So, Tom, I want to say I've heard this before, Google and a smartphone wanting to do their own thing. They've already got the Android system. Google says the end of this year is not possible for its own branded smartphone. Again, but a report from The Telegraph says it is happening. Right. What are you hearing? What are you expecting with regards to this? And, and is this anything really different than what we've seen with other Google labeled smartphones in the past? Yeah, well, if the report is accurate, then Google is working on its own branded phone as opposed to its Nexus line, which they, up until now, they've been working with partners like HTC and Huawei and LG. And so far, I mean, that really hasn't moved the needle for them. I mean, it's a good showpiece for what it's like to have a, a quote unquote pure Android experience. But when you ask most people that they, they'll buy a Samsung phone and what, what they like about those is that Samsung will add their own software. They were the first to do something like a split screen multitasking, for example. And that's what a lot of Google's partners like about the Android ecosystem is that it's open. But what's changing is that Google wants to exert more control over its hardware and software which is why it might be making its own phone as early as this year. Well, what about, uh, let's talk about the control aspect, Mark. Yeah. Google already has control of every Android device out there, every Nexus phone. It already runs the software at once. So what reasons could there be right. for Alphabet and Google to, to want to produce their own hardware, their own handsets? I mean, we know that they bought a hardware provider in the past. They, they got the Motorola thing, right? And right. it, so, so, so what and exactly? And then they got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and, and right. So, so this hardware thing is not a new venture for them. Why do it again now after they've had little success in the past? Well, I think is that they actually have to, uh, you know, pardon the pun, think different when it comes to handsets because they need to go after Apple. And the reason why the iPhone has been so successful on the high end is that Apple controls both the hardware and the software. They can roll out features like 3D touch and live photos and that sort of thing and people will use them. They won't be buried under software skins by the like of LG and Samsung. So this is about bringing their features forward. And what I think is also gonna happen is that they wanna minimize the Nexus branding, because when you think about it, what does that mean to everyday consumers? They want Google's software and services to be front and center, and that includes the branding on the phone, and they can roll out features like virtual reality and enhance that, uh, chat bots and, and things like that, and that they won't be buried by other software. Uh, but this could also have a double-edged sword effect for them if they continue to be aggressive. It brings up core competency issues as well because Apple has some experience with this and they have the iOS, but Google right. maybe needs to make a, a, a bit more of a foray into it. Now, right. here's the question. Yeah. Are consumers actually looking for more choices? I mean, do you think this could actually be <laughs> successful? We, we've heard so many reports recently that the smartphone market is already saturated, yep. that growth could be slowing. Everyone yep. who wants one already has one. So. Why get into this now? Do, do, do people like me, you, or anybody else who buys smartphones actually want more options, more choices? Uh, I think we want better options, especially at the high end of the market, because when you think about it, innovation has pretty much stalled over the last couple of years. Google is working on their Project Aura smartphone for next year, which is going to be a modular device, and it seems pretty cool in the sense that you'll be able to add different functions and almost make your phone obsolescence-proof. Uh, but I think this is also not as much of an offensive play, but also a defensive play because there's been reports over the last couple of days that you have Huawei, which is a Chinese giant, potentially making their own operating system that would be separate from Android. And then when their CEO was asked if they were actually going to do this, they said, well, we're probably not going to do that. We'll stick with Android as long as it remains open. <laughs> so in a way, Google almost has to do this in order to protect its Android turf. So it's all about the offensive and the defensive <laughs> with regard to Google's plans here for a smartphone. Mark Spoonauer, thank you so much for joining us. That's Mark Spoonauer. He is the editor-in-chief over at Tom's Guide. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.